Terra short for the Exiled Realm of Arborea, is a massively multiplayer online role-playing game MMORPG developed by Krafton. The game was released in South Korea on the 25th of January 2011, in North America on the 1st of May 2012, and in Europe on the 3rd of May 2012, with closed and open beta testings taking place before the launch dates. NHN Corporation, NHN Japan Corporation, On Mass Entertainment and GameForge publishes the game in these regions, respectively. In February 2013 the game was renamed to Terra, rising concurrently with the game's launch to the free-to-play model. In September 2014, the game was renamed to Terra, Fate of Arun in the same patch that added a new level cap and expanded Terra's horizons with the new continent in northern Arun, Val Orion. Cut off from the rest of the world for centuries, northern Arun is a land of savage jungles, colossal ruins, and the undiscovered homeland of the Barakas." The patch became effective on December 2014 in America and Europe. <laughs> Gameplay Terra has typical MMORPG features such as questing, crafting, and player versus player action. The game's combat uses a real-time battle system that incorporates third-person camera view. The player targets an enemy with a crosshair cursor rather than clicking or tabbing an individual opponent, which is called the non-target battle system by the developer. The players need to actively dodge enemy attacks. A keyboard and mouse or a control pad can be used to control the character. Characters may be one of seven races allied with the Valkyon Federation. Each race has a set of unique, racial skills that gives them minor advantages. Races also have their own unique animations for many class specific skills. Terra also has 13 classes as of October 2017, each with their own unique abilities and attributes. The developers collaborated with CCP Games and their successful use of Plex for EVE Online as a way of deterring gold farmers. As a result, Terra released a currency called Chrono Scrolls that works similarly, as it allows game time to be purchased with real money and sold for in game gold. The use of Chrono Scrolls is only available to users who have purchased the game either digitally or physically. Those with the Discovery Edition cannot use Chrono Scrolls. Topic Plot Topic Lore The two beings, Arun and Shara, titans of unimaginable power, met in a formless void. Somehow, Arun and Shara fell asleep and began to dream. As they slept, the exiled realm of Arborea began to manifest itself around them. Today, both Aaron's and Shara's bodies form the two continents the exiled realm of Arborea is made of. As both titans continued to sleep, their dreams came to life. Out of this dream, the first twelve godlike inhabitants of Terra emerged not long before a terrible war amongst them took place. Yet, Arun and Shara remained in their dream-like state and simply out of their imagination, the first mortals came to life. The mortals and gods fought each other in great divine wars, leaving most of the gods dead, imprisoned, or otherwise diminished. Even some of the mortal species got wiped out, however, others emerged and today, most of Terra's races form an alliance fighting menaces beyond their world. <laughs> <laughs> development In February 2013, Terra in North America and Europe transitioned to Terra, Rising, which changed the subscription model to a «freemium» design free play plus purchasable premium status and customization options. The developer has promised no time, level, or content restrictions for free players after this update. Players who purchase a 30-day «elite» Status will receive increased dungeon rewards, in-game discounts and other metagame advantages due to the new model, the Chrono Scrolls, mentioned above, are being phased out and are no longer sold by the developer, nor usable to extend game time. Existing Chrono Scrolls can be sold to merchants for 2,000 gold. The Japanese and Korean versions of Terra also became free to play in December 2012 and January 2013, respectively. Topic Reception. 
Terra has been met with generally favorable reviews, citing the action-based gameplay, huge and widely varied seamless world, the exciting and recurring big ass monster bam fights, the ease of using the game's auction house called the trade broker and lush detailed graphics as the game's high points. The option of using a console controller also provided much satisfaction for players that wanted to play an MMORPG without relying on a keyboard and mouse. The game's musical score received praise for its varied and emotionally charged tracks ranging from epic orchestral pieces to more mellow tunes. Criticism is directed at the game's generic collect, kill, rendezvous quest grind to level up, with some quests backtracking simply to talk to the same NPC. Player killing is commonly done in the open world and has been met with a lot of praise due to the freedom and constant action it can bring to daily questing and traveling. Critics have targeted the Nexus Wars feature as a blatant rip off of Rift's system. In March 2013, after switching to a free to play business model, the game passed 1.4 million registered accounts. On 5 May 2015, Terra's new patch 31.04 was released, in which the game became available on Steam. Along with being available on Steam, the Gunner class was released and new dungeons were added. Bluehole Studio also released inactive character names, making them available to new characters. By March 2017, Terra had over 25 million users worldwide. As of 5 May 2017, Terra has over 26 million registered players worldwide, including over 6.6 .6 million in North America. <laughs> Trade secret civil actions In 2007, NC Soft filed a complaint to South Korean Gosu Gamer authorities and brought a civil action for damages and an injunction to Bluehole Studio. The Bluehole Studio founders and employees, formerly employed under NC Soft and working on the Lineage 3 development team, were convicted by a Korean criminal court for the theft of valuable trade secrets from NC Soft in 2009. In 2010, a Korean civil court held these individuals, along with Bluehole Studio, liable for misappropriation of trade secrets, awarding NC Soft about $2 million in damages and issuing an injunction against utilizing trade secrets for monetary gain. The damages were later reversed by an appellate court, but the injunction remained in place. Despite the injunction, Bluehole Studio developed and released Terra in South Korea. On 9 January 2012, NC Soft filed a civil action in the United States against Bluehole Studio and its U.S. subsidiary en masse. NC Soft was seeking a preliminary and permanent injunction prohibiting the launch of Terra in the United States, or damages for the substantial harm that the launch would cause NC Soft. They asserted claims for copyright infringement, trade secret misappropriation, breach of confidence, unfair competition, and unjust enrichment under the laws of the State of New York. On 18 April 2012, En Mass Entertainment announced they were found not guilty in the Korean civil actions. However, three employees were found guilty. 